Hello, beautiful creatures. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Empress of Light. And I am living the art of tarot right now. It has become a lifestyle for me. I wake up in the mornings with my cards. I wake up in the evening for my cards. Beautiful creatures, I'm meaning light workers, dark workers, empaths, seers. Whatever it is that your spirit identifies itself as, welcome. Here on my channel, I'm tearing down those walls of religion. Therefore, there's no judgment and there's no separation. And really, we find that there's no one who is really good or evil. Really, there's only light and dark forces. Positive and negative energies remain. And as the collective, we are able to take this darkness and the negativity in the world and we're actually able to transform it back into positivity and light. However, we need to dig deep the universe within, pulling on source, pulling on ancestors, getting the messages that are really all around us if we just open our eyes to be able to remember how to transform that back into positivity and light. If you're tuning in today, I do not believe that it is by coincidence. I do believe that you are one of the collective and that you are being called to action. All of my messages, all of my teachings, all of my readings are timeless. So whenever you see this, you were just meant to see it. So please, I'm going to encourage that you hit pause and you grab a scratch piece of paper and write down these important messages, angel numbers, um, write down the date and the time. Also, after receiving your message or your tarot reading, I want you to write down how you felt down after that. We need to be documenting this. This is history. I just want to encourage you that you're not weird, you're not evil, and you're not crazy. In fact, we're very powerful. We are the truth. We are the collective. You know, and I had to use this as a metaphor. I was just walking around my house today, and it's like the most beautiful things are right in front of our noses, right? And we don't, sometimes we don't ever see them. Look at this beautiful rose. I mean, it looks like it's on a piece of paper, like it was right on a piece of paper. It's just so beautiful. I had to jump away from the bumblebees. My roses are starting to bloom. Really, we're all starting to bloom. I'm loving the metamorphosis that is taking place. And we're all becoming beautiful spiritual butterflies, beautiful creatures, right? Alrighty, thank you. Okay, welcome back beautiful creatures. Hope you have your journals. Please write the date and time where you are and I will do the same. Again, all of my messages, teachings are timeless. So whenever you see this, you were meant to see it. So what is the deal with angel numbers? So I was doing the tarot card readings and um, Spirit was saying give them out their angel numbers. And I'm like, okay, and I know some of my angel numbers. So I actually dug deep today for us. I did it for you so you didn't have to do it. Fun fact. So um, overall, they're just angelic guidance. And it comes from everywhere in mysterious signs or ways. We just got that with the rose, didn't we? Ooh. What are angel numbers? So pretty much they're a sequence of numbers that carry a divine guidance by referring to specific numerology meanings. It's a repetition of a sequence that will seem so uncanny and make you look wherever you can to find out more about what it means. So a lot of these numbers that we see are like 1111, 222, 333, 444. I've done um, 1111 through 7 because 7 is the number that I'm dealt with. And you'll figure out what that is. And I even learned some stuff on the number seven that I didn't know. So I'm super ecstatic. Feel free if you're seeing like 888-999. If you're seeing any other numbers, feel free to go online. There's plenty of information. I just stuck with these. Also, there was not um, an angelic meaning for 666. But if you are interested and if you see a lot of 666, go ahead and look that up for yourself. Alrighty. So 1111. 1111 pretty much means um, that you are one with life and all that surrounds you. 1111 is a special message from your guardian, guardian angels that your prayers are about to be answered. And the meaning angel, the angel meaning of number one is self-sufficiency and spirit's power. The spirit does not need you, but rather we need it. 
It's a reminder that you are may, you're maybe too critical on yourself. So when you're seeing it in threes, there's three different reasons why you might be seeing like one, 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 like one eleven on the clock. So you're too critical on yourself, or number two, your prayers are about to be answered, or number three, someone in heaven is watching over you. Isn't that beautiful? So then we go on to two, two, two. So this, it's a special message about your guardian angels and that they are giving you unity to love your relationship and yourself and focus on your relationship with God, source, or here we say spirit. So the, the angel meaning of the number two is pretty much unity, bringing unity in the situation. If you're seeing it in threes, two, 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 it might mean that one, you have a broken heart and your angels are encouraging you to open your heart up again. Two, you will find your soulmate. And three, you care deeply about others. So now we have three, three, three. And if you're seeing this, it's a message from your angels about new life, abundance, and a spiritual awakening. So that makes sense on why I was waking up at 3 a.m., the demonic witching hour. Wow. I just answered that myself, like right now in this moment. Not even when I was reading this stuff. Wow. Okay. So if you're seeing in Secrets of Threes, like on the clock, um, it's a symbol of life and resurrection. So it may mean that you need to take action on your dreams. A baby will soon be born. You are about to have a spiritual experience. So 444 is revealing a message from your angels about change, truth, and character. And if you're seeing it in the symbol of threes, it's a symbol of God, source, spirit, whatever you decide to call your higher power. It's a symbol of its righteousness. Number one, there's a there could be a big change coming. Number two, justice will be served. And number three, you have divine power. Ooh, divine power with the number 444. So then we have 555, a message from your angels about grace, kindness, and salvation. The meaning of angel number five is grace. So if you're seeing it in secrets of three, like five, 555 on the clock, it could mean one, you need to be kind to yourself. Two, someone close to you is struggling with an illness. Or three, you have been thinking about the past a lot. So it, the, angel, the angel numbers, there wasn't a 666. We probably all know why. But if you're interested about 666, please go read on that for yourself. And I may bring that content one day. Comment down below if you'd like to know what the meaning of 666 is. But it jumps straight to 777, which is the number that I get dealt with. And I knew that it was a, I knew that it was a number of like completion or perfection. But I found out some more. Listen. So it's a message from your angels about perfection and spiritual completion okay so the number the angel meaning of the number seven is physical spiritual completion or perfection and if you're seeing it in the secrets of threes which i do see a lot it means one you struggle with confidence i think sometimes we all do number two you will receive the gift of discernment and then three, you are a spiritual being, a being. You are a spiritual being. And that was just confirmation to me, guys. I'm like way too excited. That one, I put stars by it because I knew I was something. I knew I was something. I knew it. So I love that number seven, angel number seven. Very powerful number. You're seeing sevens right now. You are a spiritual being. Let me just take that one, okay? So I do hope you enjoyed. I hope that this message helped you in some way. Um, it's really helping me along my spiritual awakening. I am going to start getting into some readings and fire elements. So make sure you're looking out for those videos and your element, okay? Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you all. I love you to the moon and back. I'm going to start saying that because I bought an adult coloring book, you know, for the kids. because I was running out of things to get them to do. So I bought a, a, an adult coloring book and they're going to start coloring the beautiful pictures from my background. So we're going to start saying that. I love you to the moon and back again. Bye.